It's a common conservative complaint. Stop being sellout Singh. Now, why did he do it? An old request, but this time in writing. It's all done with Jagmeet Singh's support. Pierre Polyev sending a letter to NDP leader Jagmeet Singh, whose name Polyev mispronounced seven times at his Thursday press conference, asking him to pull support from the Liberals. Break the costly coalition with Trudeau to trigger a carbon tax election. And that is the ballot question Polyev wants in the next election, which if held today, he would win handily. It drives enthusiasm. It gets people excited. It gets people who are already either not wanting to pay it or against it riled up. Thank you very much. But the opposition leader isn't making it clear how he would govern, ducking questions on the recent railway lockout and if he'd kill the federal program providing free insulin and birth control. But Polyev did take a position on immigration. We have to have a smaller population growth. We need to have a growth rate that is below the growth in housing, health care and employment. What he didn't say is if smaller population growth would come at the expense of fewer permanent residents, set at half a million annually for the next two years. But if Polyev wants housing tied to immigration, massive cuts are unavoidable. Last year, Canada built roughly enough homes to house 377,000 people, yet the population grew by 1.27 million. An idea the Liberals also seem to recognize as they consider permanent residency cuts. It absolutely makes sense for us to be sure that as we are welcoming new Canadians, we have the homes for them. The politics of permanent residency cuts, the potential for reductions of family reunification admissions, which accounted for nearly 100,000 newcomers in 2022. A major concern for immigrant communities, Jeff, that both parties want votes from. All right, Mackenzie Gray in Ottawa. Thanks, Mac.